guys. I'm so glad you found this video and decided to click on it because uh, we're doing some big things in the garage today. Um, last night I started doing an epoxy pour experiment on some wine glasses and I figured I would stop and wait till the morning to like show you guys because I feel like if I can figure this experiment out, it might be revolutionary and a brand new technique to get this accomplished. So let me show you what we're trying to do. That's my morning coffee. <laughs> I can build a guard in some fashion to epoxy just the bottom of these, not the top, not have any spillover. This one's close, but it's not, it's still not right. I want to get epoxy just on the bottom of the glass, but I do not want to use a coaster mold. That's not, I, I don't like that. I don't think that it looks good. What I do like is the, if you've ever seen the, uh, the like metallic paint that they do and they, whoops, and they stamp it in the paint. They like put the paint down and then stamp it like that, pull it up and let it dry. Okay, that's kind of the effect that I'm looking for, but I want to do it with epoxy and it doesn't work that easy with epoxy. So you got to build a guard of some fashion. This is what I've come up with. A couple different ways I've done it so far, and um, we'll continue with the experiment. This is where I ended up last night. I did one just bringing the resin out to the edge and then letting it sink all back in. But I did get some drippage on the outside of my cup. Um, I'm not, I don't, this didn't work like I wanted it to. But it would, I guess. If you're real careful, it'd be okay. So the next one I've done is this one. I built up, see the little wall? If I could focus. See the wall around the edge? I built the wall up with just plain Jane packing tape. But when I torched it to get the bubbles out, the packing tape melted. And now we got a weird sidewall going on and I think I can sand it out but we'll see what happens with that. Last one I did is I built a little shelf here. Um, it sounded good in theory but I don't think it's gonna work. I had some seepage fallout but you know we'll see what happens. So then I started thinking a little bit less tape, more glue to see what happens there. So I did some parchment paper with just plain Jane. I read somewhere school glue doesn't react to epoxy and you could peel it off. So we're going to try that as like a border. And then thought a little bit more sturdy and went with hot glue. And honestly, I think this is the one that's going to work because... You could pour some epoxy on that, boy. Look at that. It's like a shelf. So what I'm thinking is once I pour, right, it'll sit on this shelf and then I can peel the hot glue off. The epoxy will stick to the hot glue, but I'm excited to see what happens with this. This is what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. I think this one's going to be the winner. So let's grab these bad boys up and pour some epoxy on it and see what happens. Now this one I am honestly a little worried about pulling it up because school glue hasn't dried yet. But, you know, it's literally been overnight and this school glue hasn't dried. So I don't think it's going to dry. So <laughs> let's, uh, I'm not waiting three days for it to dry I guess is what I'm saying. It's now or never. But let's see. Can you see? Yeah, let's see what happens with this. Okay. 
So, so we still got border. We could pour on that. I mean, screw it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna speed this up for you so it don't take all flipping day, but we got our border here and now we're gonna go ahead and pour this epoxy. Um, so I'll admit I'm not the best epoxy pourer. <laughs> the best epoxy pourer. So if anybody's got some tips or some tricks to get this epoxy to look super fresh on the bottom of the pour and not the top of the pour, because I'm getting a great looking pour on top, but it is not looking that great on the bottom. So anybody that has a lot of epoxy experience, maybe uh, let us know in the comments what the best way is to lay your epoxy down. So it shows up the design on the top of the glass when you're looking down on it. That'd be pretty helpful. Thanks, guys. <laughs> but what I do know about this particular pour is when you are pouring this, yes, you want to get the epoxy pretty thick up to the edge, but you don't really want to go over the edge and have a super thick layer of epoxy coming out over onto the hot glue you really only have the hot glue on there to like for your like screw ups for the oopsies that hit the side that's 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 the issue we're trying to overcome here because what happens is you start pouring super thick on the edges when you go to pull that hot glue up the epoxy is definitely going to come with it it tends to get stuck in the little tiny creases because we're not perfect when we lay down the hot glue in the first place <laughs> well i'm not perfect so we're gonna wait for that to dry and in the meantime i am going to show you how i make that barrier with the hot glue just in case it works because it looks like it's working so let's do that so this is easy enough you're gonna grab any kind of like paper towel or whatever and some uh tape literally your choice it doesn't matter it's just to create a barrier in case you get some drippage wrap your paper towel around it put a piece of tape good to go now put some pressure down on it go around the edge so it's pretty simple you got your cup that's already prepped you got your parchment paper and your hot glue you take the parchment paper, put it down. Take the cup, put it on top of that. Take some pressure with your hand and push down as you're creating that seal with the hot glue. Make sure that you're not getting it um, in blobs, but more um, as a universal squeeze. <laughs> I actually went around this cup three times with the hot glue. Twice um, against the paper at the bottom where it seals in and then I also went one more time on top of the glass so no matter what we're covered flip that bad boy over and yeah there we go that's easy peasy all these flyaways all right so I'm back it's super late and I'm very curious to see if my experiment worked if you remember what we're trying to do is build a shelf so we can have epoxy drip off of the bottom of the glass but not seep onto the top of the glass. So let's start here. What I did with this one is I didn't even, I didn't put anything. There's nothing on there to guard it, protect it. I don't know what I was thinking with this, but 
notice that the middle has a big giant dip it's bigger than it looks so it takes a lot more epoxy than you think it does um, I don't personally think this is gonna work because if you put it down on a white surface you can see that it's only the inside that has color and for me personally I, that looks okay but I that's not what I'm trying to accomplish I'm trying to accomplish full color throughout the whole bottom of the cup so and eh, that's not gonna work the next thing I tried to do was put a I don't know if you can see it but there's masking tape I built up a wall on this so let's take this off and see what happens So yeah, exactly what I thought was going to happen. I got here, I don't know if you can see this or not, Let's see if I can get it to focus. See how there's a lip here on the edge, right here. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with all that sanding. so. I personally don't think that this is gonna work. Oops, sorry, my bad. I ain't mean to kick you, bro. X this out. But let's flip it over and look. That's a better effect of what I'm looking for. So that's that's what I get. Uh, I get to thinking, and then I start doing weird experiments. This is where I started like recording this. This was the next one that I did. Same thing with the masking tape. I was trying to build some sort of guard. Um, yeah, it. I know it's not going to work because I got some seepage under there. But let's, yeah, take that off. No fucking way. No way, Jose. That's not gonna work either. Because I got a lot of seepage underneath here. Okay, so... This was an utter and... Whoa! Utter and complete fail. See that? Garbage. Yeah, that's not going to work. Then I started thinking less tape, more glue. So this is what I started to do. I, I read that you can use Elmer's glue on like the back of your coaster to do like a flood coat. So that's what I try to do here. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not because this camera sucks. See that matte ring around the edge of the cup? That's the Elmer's glue. Honestly, I don't even think it's going to work in any way, shape, or form. The There's nothing thick enough to pull off of the cup. I mean... I don't know. I didn't maybe let it dry long enough. Didn't use enough. If anybody knows how this method works, let us know in the comments. Because... I don't know. I can't. Okay. Let me see my knife. Yeah, this is way too much work. I'm not trying to do... Oh, wait. Hold on. There we go. That actually kind of works. Hold on. Oh, 
snap. It be working, man. All right, all right. That's actually not half bad. Not half bad, if I say so myself. It, this is getting better. This is kind of what I'm trying to achieve. So, let me see if I can focus. So you see that clean edge? See how it's all even and pretty and very less work. I mean, maybe it kind of looks a little crappy here, but we can sand that out. That's not a big deal. All right, let's see what it looks like against a white surface because that's the real test in my mind okay we're getting better it's getting better so obviously you can tell I was a little scared to keep filling because I didn't really have a shelf I just had like a barrier so I mean I think this school glue method will work just depends on what you're trying to do with it this is what everybody is here for um, I did that and I started thinking well if school glue would work why wouldn't hot glue work so this is the first one I did all right I'm gonna have to do this real quick cuz I'm getting the insufficient memory usage data that warning I got I don't have enough space on my SD card like I said before anyways this is working beautifully oh man that's so nice oh my goodness Oh, yeah, I think it just gets better from here. So this is pretty perfect. It just needs some, like, sanding on the edges. See that sucker right there? This needs a little bit of sanding on the edges, but that is an easy-peasy fix. Look at that. That looks nice. Let's see what it looks like when we put it on... Ooh, boy. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, nice. All right. So my conclusion of this experiment is the hot glue seal, it works. There's a couple things that I would change next time. First of all, I would probably put something super heavy inside the cup to create more pressure pushing down on it so it creates a tighter seal. Um, second thing, I sanded the crap out of these, uh, down to 400 and I think it looks decent, but there's still like a matte edge on it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a matte edge around the outside. I think I can fix that with some clear nail polish. So. If anybody's got some other suggestions, let me know in the comments. I heard dishwasher safe Maj Paj. I don't know. It doesn't sound legit to me, though. So, let me know. The last thing I think I'm going to do different is I don't think I need as much epoxy as I poured. I think if I make the color a stronger color, if I make... It, I add more mica powder, I guess is what I'm saying. If I make it like a thicker, stronger, more vibrant color, it won't be so clear at the edges where it's thinner. So I won't be stressed out so much about getting it over the edge too much. Hopefully all that made sense. <laughs> But yeah, it works. So um, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the good buttons, do all that good stuff.